Certain expenses are often overlooked and underestimated in retirement, and we don't want you to suffer the same fate of overspending in retirement and draining your savings. The good news is this is avoidable, and today we're going to look at specifically the overlooked expenses that are so common and how you can plan as accurately as possible. All right, Alex, so what are people risking if they overlook certain expenses or even just underestimate? Yeah, the best way to actually see this in action is to look at a real example. Um, so we're going to use fictitious names here, uh, Penny and Pete Mitchell. So going to go with some Top Gun references. All right. Um, we're going to say they're age 63 and they are looking to retire in about two years. Now they have $2.8 million saved up for retirement and together they will get about $5,600 a month in total social security benefits at their full retirement age. Um, Pete also has a pension of about $2,000 a month. Now they live here in SoCal and they need to spend about $10,000 a month to meet their lifestyle needs. And so as we take a look at this projection, we can see that you know their plan looks pretty solid. And I know I went over these facts really quickly, but again, the key here is their plan projection looks pretty darn good. Now, what happens is if they start to spend more money because maybe they did not properly account for expenses in the right way, or they just you know didn't do it um, to be more conservative, in this example, just spending an additional $10,000 more per year than they initially intended um, is going to add up very, very quickly over the course of several years. And it has serious consequences on the longevity and the projection of their plan. And really, in this case, they don't have a lot of room for error. And again, even something like $10,000 over the course of a year, it might seem like a lot up front, but when you start adding things up, that can add up really quickly and you can hit that very fast. So this is why getting your expenses is so crucial. And we created a retirement readiness quiz, which is gonna show you where you're at and some action steps to get you on a pathway to having a successful retirement. I personally go through all the numbers and create a custom video showing you, hey, here's what are the results are and here's what people a few years ahead of you are thinking. And so if you're interested in that, you can take the free quiz in the description down below. And it's important to note that every situation may be a little bit different in terms of how extra expenses can affect the overall projection. It may look different for one person than the other. Let's dig right into those commonly overlooked expenses that we tend to see with clients. Number one is just those variables, things like gifts, groceries, even entertainment where you have more time in retirement. So maybe you're spending more to have fun, which is a good thing, but just often underestimating. And then that can add up over time. Yeah. And you're not going to be exact with these numbers, right? It's not an exact science, but take a look at what you're spending now and be honest with yourself of what you may end up spending in retirement because a lot of people actually end up spending a little bit more in retirement. They have more free time. They're spending more time with family. That's right. So number two is supporting family members. Maybe this is children. Maybe it's also parents. Those of you in your 50s or 60s, you might be right there in that sandwich generation. Yeah, and this is according to AgeWave. It says the total average support for family members in the last five years by people aged 50 and up totaled $14,900. So even if you don't foresee needing to financially help uh, family members, I would not totally count it out. There are likely to be situations arise where you do want to lend a helping hand. Yeah, you just you just may not know. All right, number three, Alex, is healthcare. And this is where it can be helpful to, if you're not quite yet at Medicare age, is take a look and see what are you actually spending on healthcare and then how might that change in, in Medicare? Yeah, there is a Yahoo Finance article and it goes through and it says people with traditional Medicare uh, spent an average of $6,663 on insurance premiums and medical services. It's quite a bit. And also remember that long term health care expenses are not covered by Medicare, at least after a certain number of days. Those can be dramatic um, expenses that really should be inputted into a plan, almost like yeah. as a what if type scenario. All right, number four are home projects, home repairs, really those big things that we can't 
excuse. We have to know that we're going to be doing things maybe to the home and we need a plan for those. Yeah, we have clients who are working on home projects right now, right? They're remodeling their kitchen. They're uh, doing some new landscaping, fixing up the bathroom, right? They want to enjoy the homes that they're living in and they want to enjoy it now. Um, and oftentimes a lot of these homes are a little bit older and they haven't had work in a while. So, you know, they're doing a lot of past due work and they're getting these things fixed up. Um, this also goes for other big expenses like buying a car or car repairs. Um, a thirty to forty thousand dollar hit in your financial plan can really be uh, a big shock to the financial plan if you're not preparing for such an expense in advance. Yeah, absolutely. And then fifth and final is inflation. We've been hit by inflation lately, so it's more on the top of our minds. But we have to know that costs are going to adjust over time. In fact, if you take the average inflation rate of about 3.1%, that means your costs over a 23 year period um, are gonna double. Yeah, and that honestly means spending twice as much as you did at the beginning of retirement at the end. So in this example, that'd be like, you know, if you retired at 65 and at the end it's 80, your age 87, you'd be spending roughly double. And yeah, there are gonna be certain expenses that are gonna come down as you age. Um, like maybe you aren't traveling as much, uh, maybe you don't spend as much on entertainment. Um, but honestly, <laughs> this is where reality meets, uh, you know, theory. The reality is, although the, although those expenses may come down, typically you see other expenses start to rise, such as increasing healthcare costs. Absolutely, and, and we really counsel our clients when they're moving into retirement, just be watchful of your expenses. You don't need to be overly vigilant, but just know what's going on because really moving yeah. into those first few years of retirement are really important. Kind of see where you're at. We previously recorded a video, what to expect in your first year of retirement. This can be really helpful. We'll go ahead and post the link to that above. Once again, it's Anthony and Alex. The retirement readiness quiz is in the show notes. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.